Greetings everyone, my name is Melderon. Welcome to another Classic Wild.Live guide. This time we'll be covering how you can increase your mount speed by 3% in Classic Wow. Now many of you may know about this already, however there is a large amount of people that are coming back to Classic Wow after a long hiatus or have never actually played it. And of course I'm talking about the carrot on a stick. This guide will go over how you get it, why you should get it, and some tips and tricks. So 3%. Doesn't seem like a lot, right? What's the big deal? Well, 3% is of course a static increase to your mount speed. And if you're in a PvP realm, you can outrun people that are trying to kill you. You can reduce your travel time, obviously, by 3%, which means you can get to level 60 faster. And if min-maxing is something that's really important to you, you may want to get to max level as fast as you possibly can. Also, after you get to max level or while you're leveling, you can farm more efficiently. After all, time is money, friends. So in summary, what I'm trying to say here is, if you take all these things into account, it will all add up in the long run, and it will significantly shorten the time you're leveling or farming. Okay, so how do we increase our mount speed by 3%? Well, it's by obtaining a trinket called the Carrot on a Stick. And all you gotta do is kill this boss in Zulfarok named Gazrilla, loot his electrified scale, and bring that scale back to a gnome in the Shimmering Flats in Thousand Needle. Easy, right? Well, hold your horses. Not so fast. It isn't really that simple. If you go to Zulfarok with your party, go to the back, you'll see a large pool of water, near where Hydromancer Velratha will pat. After you clear the area, you'll notice that there's a large gong on one side of the large pool. And that's actually how you summon Gazrilla. You have to bang the gong to get it on with him. If you don't get the reference, I'm sorry, that's an old song by T-Rex called Bang a Gong. Google it if you've never heard of it. Anyway, in order to bang the gong, you have to have a special mallet, and it's called the Mallet of Zulfarok. So where is this mallet and how do we get it? Well, the first thing is you have to be level 40 and go get the quest from Wizzle Brassbolt, who's located at 7877 in the Shimmering Flats and Thousand Needles at that drag racy type area. He will give you the quest called Gazrilla and will set you on your way. Interestingly, in the quest text, he alludes to the fact that this is a secret of how Gazrilla is summoned, but doesn't give you any other clues. So this is an interesting classic wild quest that sets you on an adventure to obtain some item but leaves it up to you to find out how. So step two is to actually find the mallet. Now you don't need the Gazrilla quest in order to obtain the mallet, but you're going to definitely have to get it at some point to obtain the electrified scale. In the early days of classic wild there was no additional information, people actually had to find this on their own. The mallet is actually found in the hinterlands on the eastern kingdoms. So you're going to have to cross over to the eastern kingdoms from Kalimdor and head to the hinterlands. In southeastern hinterlands, there is a temple called the Altar of Zul. At the top of this temple are two elite female trolls. One of them, Kyaga the Keeper, a level 50 elite at 4969, will drop a sacred mallet if you kill her. But make sure to bring friends because these elites can be tough. I suggest at least two people didn't get this done, but three would definitely be optimal. The sacred mallet is lootable by everyone in the party. But if you read the tooltip, you'll see that you have to use it at the Jintha Allure Altar to create the mallet of Zulfarak. So our job is not yet done. Now, Jintha Allure is farther to the east and is an outdoor elite area. It is a very large and vast outdoor elite area with multiple levels or tiers. In my opinion, the three people you may have taken to get the mallet are not going to be enough. So therefore, it may be a prudent idea to get a group of five, get the mallet, and then head straight to Jintha Allure and start clearing. Depending on the patch and depending on how itemization and progression will go, there are many other quests you can get for this complex, so make sure to pick them up as well, either in Raven Tusk Village or in Airy Peak if you're Alliance. Once you reach the top of Jintha Lore, you'll find an altar near a cave system at 6078. If you click on the mallet in your inventory near the altar, a cast bar will appear, and at the end of the cast time, you will see the mallet of Zulfarak will be in your inventory. So now it's time to pack your bags, jump on a zeppelin or boat and head back over to Kalimdor, enter Zulvarok with a party of five, and head to the pool where Gazrilla is sleeping. If anyone in your party does not have the Gazrilla quest, tasking you to pick up his electrified scale, make sure they get it now in Shimmering Flats before you enter the dungeon. Now after clearing the area, you can walk up to the gong, click the mallet of Zulfarok in your inventory, and you will physically bang the gong, waking up Gazrilla. After your party defeats Gazrilla, everyone with the quest will be able to loot his electrified scale. Oh no. They say he had to go. Go, go, Gazrilla. Okay, that's another song reference. If you don't know it, check out Blue Oyster Cult, Godzilla. Great song. Now, with scale in hand, you can finally head back over to Whizzle Brass Bolts at 7877 in the Shimmering Flats in Thousand Needles and claim your reward, the carrot on a stick. Congratulations, you've done it. Now, let's briefly go over a few pointers. 
Number one, not everyone in the party has to have the mallet, just one. So if you took the time to go get the mallet, you can be the one with the banging gong, but everyone needs to have the quest, Gazrilla, in order to loot the scale. So make sure everyone has the quest. Second is Gazrilla has an ability that knocks all players around him up in the air and causing fall damage. So there are overhangs near pedestals or pillars around the pool type area. There's a picture here showing a character standing underneath the overhang. If your entire party stands underneath this and Gazrilla hits everyone up in the air, they will only travel up a few feet and come back down harmlessly, not taking any damage. I'm not sure if this is going to work actually in Classic, but it's something to at least try. Number three, the mallet is a great way to get into Zulfarak groups faster. If you're not a tank or a healer, you may want to seriously consider putting the time and effort in getting the mallet, as it will almost ensure your invite into a group. And the process of getting the mallet, going to the Altar of Zul, and then Jin to the Lore, and then getting into a dungeon group are great ways to make friends and lasting social interactions. So how fast is 3%? In these four separate videos, you'll see that I'm traveling between these flagpoles on a 60% mount and 100% mount with and without the carrot. And that extra 3% in this time window saves you somewhere between one to two seconds. Now that doesn't seem like you're saving a lot. However, this is a very short time window. If you can imagine extrapolating this over the course of the leveling process, the carrot stick can save you potentially minutes to hours when you consider the amount of time you'll be mounted between levels 40 and 60. This is why, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the time to get the carrot on a stick as soon as you possibly can. In a game like Classic WoW, where leveling is such a huge part of the experience, every little bit really, really helps. Well, that does it for me, guys. Thank you very, very much for listening to this, and I hope it helped, and I hope you learned something. If you like these videos, please leave a like. Subscribe as well, because we have a lot more guides coming down the pipeline. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can follow us on the various different links that are in the description. We produce Def Talk, which is a podcast that's available on Spotify, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and iTunes. We also have a Twitter and a Discord. Those links are in the description. This guide, in addition to many others, will be featured on ClassicWild.live, so don't forget to check us out on there. Timestamps for this presentation will be in a pinned comment below. If you are interested in buying Def Camp Melderon TV merchandise, Brandung Media has produced hoodies and t-shirts for us. A link for that will also be in the description. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my patrons for increasing the quality of the videos that we make. Thank you all very much. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there will be a link in the description and a clickable link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep on keybinding and grinding, and I hope to see you in Classic Azeroth.